The cool thing about studying is that once we get over the idea that it has to be grueling and painful all the time, you realize that all it takes is the right mindset. And sometimes, technology can help us out with that. Let's talk about apps. You got two options. You can download a study app or do things with the apps you have. If you're adding a new app into the mix, like Quizlet or Chegg, you can set reminders to study until your test date, make your flashcards into different ways to study them, even games, or download a document as a full study guide of your progress. If you're using the apps you have, you have two options. Don't overthink the apps you have, and get creative with the apps you have. If it's the former, there's plenty of missed opportunity because we think there's a right way to study. Using timers, calendars, and alarms puts you in a mindset where you're not worrying about how much time you have. Let your phone or computer keep track of things for you so you can focus on what's important here and now, getting those concepts in. If it's the latter, we've all heard of the take a walk method of studying, for example. Create a circuit for yourself on a map of apps and drop off bits of information as you take a walk and pick them up on your way back, making sure to pin the information on the map on your phone. Now remember our three points. Studying doesn't have to be painful, you can get creative with the tools, or follow the law of parsimony with them, and it's all about getting in the right mindset. Now go show that procrastination who's running the show.